Hello friends, welcome to Insight Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. In the substation equipment series, today we are going to learn about transformer cooling system. Friends, we have made many videos on the battery set charging, discharging, panel to breaker schedule, wiring of current transformers, TT potential transformers, various kinds of testing of transformers and also about substation control panel equipments. Links to all these videos in different parts of substation you can al already get in the description box below. There are many more videos also. You, you can get the video links in the description box and you can enhance your knowledge by watching our videos. So friends, today we are going to learn about transformer cooling system. First of all, let us uh, know there are two types of transformer cooling. Insulation, that is first one is a dry type transformer and the second one is oil fill transformer. In oil fill transformer, oil is used as an insulation medium and also the same oil can be used as a coolant in the transformers also. Uh, we know that transformer is the most costly equipment in the entire substation and also it is the most important substation of the equipment. So maintaining the temperature of this equipment, cooling it as per the requirement it becomes a very important task. So we are going to understand how we will be cooling the transformer using oil as an insulating medium also. So, types of transformer cooling, oil natural, air natural, oil natural air force, oil force air natural and oil force air force. We will be understanding each of these categories in detail in this video. As you can see over here, this is a model of a transformer. This is the main tank. This is the conservator tank. These two are the radiator fins, okay? And inside this main tank, we are having this winding, a magnetic core, okay? And this is how a radiator will look like, okay? So, this is the radiator. Now, we know that inside the transformer, because of heavy flow of current and conversion of voltage levels, there will be some continuous production of heat because of this heat as oil is used as oil is inside the transformer main tank and the winding is also inside the main tank okay all the heat that is produced will be absorbed by the oil inside the main tank due to which the temperature of the oil will start increasing now as we know that because of the difference in temperature at this on the upper side of the transformer main tank the oil temperature will be high and comparatively at the bottom part of the transformer main tank the oil temperature will be low so now the flow of oil from higher temperature to lower temperature so you can see it is going upwards okay and from lower temperature than higher okay and now we are having this kind of pipes okay and inside this from this main tank this pipe is connecting this radiator okay so you can see oil will flow inside this pipe now through this pipe it is going through this different fins radiator fins there are number of radiator fins and they are directly in contact with the surrounding open air okay now the air outside will be cooler compared to this oil and because of this various number of parts for the oil to move the oil will be cooled down by the time it reaches at the bottom part and once it reaches the bottom part it will now flow into the main tank again so, in this way, there will be circulation of oil inside the transformer main tank, right? So, this kind of process is used for cooling. This will be called as oil natural, air natural cooling of the transformer. So, 
A transformer having all natural air natural type of cooling will look like this. You can see the radiator fins are attached to the main tank body of the transformer itself. Now we will be using fans for high pressurized air. Okay. So uh, this fans will move the air around the radiators forcefully so that more forced air will flow through the radiators and it will cool the oil more quickly so it will slightly increase the circulation of the oil okay and as a result the cooling system will be a little bit faster so these fans are placed on the radiators so this kind of cooling system is called as oil natural air force because force we are forcing the air through the fans. So again uh, oil natural air force kind of transformers will look like this because on the radiators we are having placing this fans. Okay. Uh, this kind of transformer cooling systems are used for low to medium voltage transformers having a little less capacity. Okay say up to 100 to 500 kVA. Next, one more system that we can use is, we can use oil pump. Again, the same function of the oil pump will be to pump the oil more quickly inside the main tank. Okay, the oil will be circulating now with more speed. Okay, so as the circulation will increase, so the cooling will be increasing. And as the cooling is increasing, the transformer oil will remain at normal temperature. And so the efficiency of the transformer to work will also increase. Right? So as we are forcing the oil over here, this kind of cooling system is called oil force air natural. As the air is rotating naturally. So oil force air natural transformer will look like this. In this the radiator tank is radiator are given separately from the main tank. Okay, so this section is completely different. And over here through the pipes you can see the oil is being circulated through using this pump. So this is higher rated transformer. So in this kind of transformer you can see oil force air natural cooling system. Coming towards our last section, so over here, fans are also placed on the radiator wings and oil pump is also used to pump this oil and cool it more easily. As the cooling system over here is very quick, the oil inside the transformer remains at a very normal temperature and as the oil remains at the normal temperature, the working efficiency at which the transformer operates will be very high okay and this will be a much efficient transformer compared to other cooling systems so this is called oil force air force cooling system of the transformer so uh, oil force air force cooling system will look like this on the radiator back you will have fans placed okay and there will also be a provision of the pump that will circulate the oil inside the transformer. About 100 MVA to 150 MVA capacity transformers this kind of cooling system is used. Let us see one nameplate. On the nameplate you can see type of cooling is mentioned over here and accordingly how much MVA at what efficiency the transformer will work. So let us zoom in and you can see that Type of cooling is oil natural, air natural. The capacity is 50 MVA. Oil natural air force capacity improves to 70 MVA. But highest efficiency that is 100% if the transformer is 100 MVA. It will be working as 100 MVA transformer when the cooling system uses oil force air force. Right. So as I mentioned earlier also for oil force air force the circulation rate will be maximum. And the efficiency at which will be the transformer will be working will be 100%. So this is one more and you can see over here also the same thing is mentioned uh, for all natural and natural 50% say 
okay for all natural air force 70 percent and oil force air force the transformer rating will be up to 100 percent so friends in this session we have learned the importance of cooling sy systems what kind of different cooling systems are available and in the next video we will learn about how to control the fans and how to control the pumps inside the transformer thank you for watching our video keep watching let us know if you have any queries in the comments below. Thank you.